Hey guys, Money Man 300 and got a new video, Forza video here today. And I'm gonna try a little something different, a little something new. Uh, it's a challenge and I don't really have a good name for this challenge. I'm just gonna call it the Random Car Random Track Top 1000 Challenge. So what that is, is, is and you can see here, this is the random track that I actually landed on. Um, but I go into the, uh, into the car, into the buy a car section and I filter it on cars that I don't already own. Uh, things I have not purchased yet, and then I kind of flip around randomly, close my eyes, sort it, do all kinds of different stuff, and then hit the A button and see what car I land up on. Do the same thing with the track, and this I landed on Bothers for the track, and let me show you the car that I landed on here. So, uh, go back one. Look at this bad boy. I landed on the GMC van for the car. So um, going to try this and, and see how this goes. Going to try to put it in the top 1,000 on the leaderboard on that track. So um, that may not seem like great a great time, or maybe, maybe it will depending on your skill level. But to be able to do that with a random car um, is going to be interesting. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do it live, too, is, is I'm going to go through here. And um, now I may cut out some of the driving, just depends, like that first lap that doesn't do anybody any good. Um, and some of that, but I'm going to go through and do it live. I'm going to do a live build, live com for the build, the tune, and then the driving. And we'll, we'll see how this goes. Maybe we can get some interesting cars to, to use in multiplayer, rivals, single player, whatever you want out of this. So let's uh, hop right up in here. So first thing is, and, and figure out a good way to do the class, but um, I think we can uh, just make some judgment calls. This is really low in D, so what I'm probably going to do is just put this at the top of D class. So uh, maybe I can set some parameters around this if this uh, ends up being a successful series that people like. Uh, we can put some more parameters and, and try to make things even a little bit more interesting. So let's go straight over to our engine swap area. Um, if this has the 5.7 liter, I'm probably going to put that in there. Yep, yep, yep. Can't you? Oh man, that's a big engine there. So uh, this is a this is a great engine to use on any car when you're trying to get a little bit more of a a speed build out of a car. This engine here, look at that thing. Look at that line. <laughs> that's just awful on that that starting one. So we're gonna let's get us the uh, the 5.7 liter V8. Great engine in the game. We're also gonna want our aspiration conversion. Um, probably just gonna start. Where did that PI start at? So it's gonna go at 15. I'm just gonna start with the. Uh, uh, this is the standard. I always start with that one, the centrifugal supercharger. I don't particularly like uh, the turbos here necessarily. And, um, you know, sometimes I use the positive displacement. But um, we'll do our engine swap first, and then we'll kind of move down from there. I'm going to go ahead and throw the arrow on here. Um, it keeps, it looks like it keeps it the same for that. Um, and we'll do, uh, we'll get a PI back on the rear arrow. It really show what do we get for a wing there look at that paint job though i don't know who did that paint job i probably should have looked and credited them um, maybe i'll look after here and do that it's just one that i grabbed that was on there it's one of them the the favorites that that come on there but <laughs> that's pretty sweet though um oh, what's this sahara design wing oh look at that thing you put that wing on there oh man i almost want to just do that it's not like the downforce is going to do anything for me in this class but um, I do get one PI. I don't know. I might go back and do that just because that's a cool wing on the van. Um, all right, so let's go back out of there. And let's see what we have in for bumpers. Can we just put that bumper on there? Was that just give me a couple pounds? Yeah, we got to put get rid of that bumper on there. Make it make it smooth. So we'll do that. Um, what do we want to do next? I'm gonna try to leave the tires as much as possible. Um, probably gonna probably gonna widen them out so let's do that I'm gonna leave the tire I'm gonna leave the composition because it's bother so you're gonna want a little bit more of a speed build I do want some handling uh, like this bring it up 6 pi so we'll remember that for some future reference there and then we're gonna do the same thing in the rear just to give us a little just enough traction to get through that top part of the track up there and we're gonna go wheels and I'm just gonna go with some light wheels for now we can uh, so 21 I I probably should already know. I think 23 is probably the lightest we're gonna get. So, and I hate the gold wheels. So, I'm gonna find something else that's in that uh, in that range. These are pretty good. So, these are always generally your lightest wheels. These P1 Racing QF, these Buddy Clubs. So, we'll go with the lightest ones to start with. Probably uh, change that as we need to adjust our PI. Oh, hang on. I think I might want to pimp this thing out a little bit more with some rims, as long as it doesn't oh, it doesn't do anything until I get up in there. So, let's go with some go in the middle here. Get that thing some. Oh, it's already looking much better. Uh, where's that in the middle here? Is it this one or this one? 
Make. I get this one. So we'll get that. Alright, all looks good there. Uh, let's put let's go next with we'll do our platform and handling here. Let's get all our race parts on here and get our brakes. Move on to our get our race springs, dampers. Grab our race roll bars. Some more race roll bars here. Uh, probably not gonna do a roll cage, that's just gonna add weight. It says it adds handling and all that. I don't want to do that. Um, I wonder how much weight I could take out of this. I'm going to take all the weight out. Oh, a 1,000 pounds, and I'm still at 343. I wonder if that's going to be too much, though, if I'm going to lose too much speed. Let me take a 1,000. How heavy is this? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's 5,000 pounds. <laughs> it's 3,800 after I take all the weight out. I have a feeling this thing is going to be real hard to drive and tune. Uh... I don't know. How much do I get out of these? 149, 500 there, and it doesn't quite change. So we'll go with an in-between here. We'll try this first. Um, see how much horsepower we can get out of this thing. Still leaves us with 80 PI there. Let's go over and take a look at our transmission. So uh, we're not gonna be able to do anything here. That is way too much. We're just gonna stick with the stock transmission. Um, and let's, we need to add our race differential. That's probably gonna be key for trying to tune this beast. Oh, oh, I did not mean that. That was one too many bees there. Hang on a second. Let's get back in here. We're not done upgrading this monster yet. Uh, so first thing is we're going to get in our engine parts. Always go to the centrifugal supercharger first and upgrade that as much as possible. Just the biggest bang for your bucks. See, we get 67 horsepower out of that. So we'll do that. Then I generally go to the exhaust next because you get a weight advantage along with um, hor along with horsepower. So. Um, get 10. I'll get a ton of horsepower to that, but that's okay. Um, probably gonna do displacement. Also open that up a little bit. And I don't know about cam, so cams are gonna give you pretty good that long, see, see how it lengthens out uh, those lines? That's generally pretty good for a speed build. Um, and I get 93 more horsepower. We're gonna try this first and, and see how how this behaves. And then we're just gonna fill in with the with the air filter. Get another 13 horsepower. I think we're gonna have to take some more weight out of this. This thing's gonna be way too much horsepower for the weight that we have, but that's uh, too much there. Let me get like uh, ignition here usually is a small one. There we go. We can get that in, and then we can go adjust our wheels um, to get us back down to 400 pi here. So let's do that. Just grab some different wheels. It gets us in the 400 range. Whoa, those are ugly. And I know this is an ugly car anyway, but I don't, really don't like those wheels. I don't like those either. Let's keep going until we get some 400. Nope. Oh, why are they all white? I don't like the white. That's a cool color. Kind of like those wheels too, but that PI doesn't work for me. Oh, what we got here? Nope. Don't like it. Hey! You know, oh, what was the weight on some of these though? That was oh, a plus. Oh no, that wasn't the one. So that was plus 14 pounds. I should probably be looking at that too. This is plus 17 pounds, plus 21. So plus 14, about as good as we're gonna get. Let's see if there's any other wheels that look decent that are plus 14. I don't know that three pounds on this monster is gonna really make any difference at all, but you know, try to be efficient. What was that one? That was plus one. We'll just go with that for now. That's not too hideous. Um, can always paint them, I guess, but, but I really didn't like them. All right, so let's go. Let's let's go tune this thing. I, I mean, who knows what the default tuning on this thing will look like? All right, I'm just gonna wing tune this. Uh, not gonna use any calculator or anything. We're gonna put these at 28. Can't do anything with our gearing. Uh, we're gonna run this up. It's gonna be interesting to see what this thing. How this thing acts with a lot of with a fair amount of camber. I'm gonna put a bunch in here. I don't know, three five, like three zero here. I'm gonna leave the toe alone. I'm gonna leave the caster alone for now. Um, <coughs> roll bars. I'm gonna drop this down uh, more towards the midpoint in here, and then go somewhat lower in the rear. I'm gonna understeer tune this thing uh, so we can. Uh, Cause I have a feeling it's going to um, 
be a bit of an oversteer monster. Look at those spring values. Those aren't bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna again, I'm gonna soften it up just a little bit. Um, you know, somewhere here in the middle, and then we're gonna go somewhere less than that here again. Understeer, tune it just a little bit. I'm just gonna leave the right height alone right now, unless I see some reason. I mean, 11, one and 11, five. <laughs> um, damping. We're going to run these up higher. We're gonna go 10, seven. Add a couple on there and try to keep that ratio close. We're gonna go about 10, two there, and we're gonna drop these down. Um, for more detailed stuff, I'm not going to talk way about this. Uh, you can go watch the tuning in depth I've done. I've got everything done at this time when I upload this one, or maybe even after I upload it, I'll have the have all of them done. But I have everything done except for the differential, as it sits in a, as I'm making this video right now. Um, so if you want more in depth explanation of of what I do on each one of these, you can uh, go watch those. I'm going to take all the arrow out here. This is a D class build, so we really don't need that. And then. Um, break bias we're gonna go our normal start with our normal 53 we're gonna go like 150 this thing's a monster and I can tell you right now I'm probably not gonna want a bunch of acceleration differential we'll start about 25 and I think I'm gonna put them both about the same we'll see how that feels I'm gonna I'm gonna need some help in breaking and I think that having some deceleration differential in there is gonna help with that so 118 feet on 0 to 60 braking 118.1 so you can so it doesn't really it doesn't show a difference but it, it'll help i'm gonna put this about 30 i think <laughs> and we'll go there 25 just curious what it'll do to the numbers not that it really matters what if i did 20. i need that 0.1 feet <laughs> all right we're gonna leave it at 25 we'll see how that goes um i think that's everything in here let's I, I probably should look up what top thousand is, but I'm gonna I'll do that while um while the menu's loading here. Um uh, oh I can't look up top thousand right here. So uh before we do this, let's hop out and let's go over into rivals and let's take a look at just so I even know if I'm in the ballpark at times here. So let's go um go car my cars. No, that's not that is not rivals at all hop over into rivals and let's take a look at what is let's go d-class go over here to bothurst um, let's take a look at our leader we're probably not going to beat rock kings 232 with this and that 250 cali probably not going to beat my lotus lawn that's in 162nd place either <laughs> so um you know certainly going to want to pick a different rival when i get in here I wonder when I did that a lot. That was pretty recently. I think I was going to make a tune for that, and I haven't finished it yet. I got all these tunes started that I didn't finish, but it's a pretty good time. Decent. Um, I don't think I got much room to give on this. I mean, even 237 is not a terrible time on this track, so this is going to be a real hard. I don't know if we're going to pass this challenge. We'll see what we can do. <laughs> now, I, I don't expect every one of these challenges to be successful, but um, I do expect it will make some interesting cars in this so um blackbird 80 in the lotus salon we're in the 237 range so i need to be in that i need to be under 240 um as i'm going through this to to potentially have much of a chance of getting this so let's let's see what we got here let's go back into into here back into our car upgrade and let's test drive this beast panorama Let's uh, let me make sure I don't have any assists on. I was driving some S class. I might. Uh, doesn't look like I do. What do we got? Transaction stability control all off. Okay. We're good there. Let's load up this track here real quick. So gonna be interesting. Looking forward to this. We're gonna have a little fun. Do a little something different with Forza. You know, we've done a lot of tunes, done a lot of tips and tricks videos, and just trying to have some fun with the game. Game's had a really long life, been really happy with it, gonna continue playing it. I know that I've had some Destiny content up there and had a little little break from Forza, but you need that every once in a while. Uh, come back, <laughs> look at this thing. Well, it feels like I'm really close though. That in car. Haha. <laughs> Alright, get back behind here. This thing's so big, it's like hard to even see in this mode. Oh, I got the wrong controller. My 
<laughs> I have a controller that has a dead left trigger, and that's what I'm using. Hang on a second here. <laughs> controller off. Let's uh, get the controller that actually works out here. I don't know what happened. It's one of my day one controllers, and the left uh, left trigger actually stopped stopped working. Uh, it's still me. Ooh, get! Oh my God, this thing is a. I don't know how I'm gonna get this thing up through that top part of the track. The gearing, it's so heavy that it just, I'm going to have to take it. I can't even accelerate, like, when I get in third gear. It's too heavy. Oh, the brakes are locking up. It's not going to take me long to have to go in. Oh, oh look at that thing. You can't. It won't go up the hill. <laughs> all right, we're not gonna mess with that. In it, <laughs> there's no reason to go through all that because it definitely we got to get more weight out of it. It's I can't even. That engine won't even power this thing up the hill. <laughs> I mean, there's no chance. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Top 1,000 is gonna be. Um, it's gonna be a, a real trick in this one. That is for sure. Get that going here. All right, back in here. Um, let's. Okay, we gotta take the. We gotta get the weight out of this thing. That's the wrong, wrong section. Too much weight. I think so. I can't even power it up the hill. <laughs> um, so we'll take that out. Put that there. All right. So now we gotta get 33 off. We're gonna have to lose some horsepower. Hopefully. You know, that doesn't uh, outweigh it too much here. We're going to have to take a little horsepower out of this. Uh, we're probably going to take the cams out. We're just going to take that out altogether. Um, I don't think we're doing ourselves any favor with those cams and lengthening out those lines because the car's just too heavy for that. So we'll take that out. That gives us 390. I already have race here. I had the displacement. Um, we'll add some horsepower back in with these. Go to race here. Let's see what our, our uh, valves can do for us. There we go. Still get a decent amount of horsepower out of this, and uh, some decent speed up there. I think we, I think our numbers might actually be better um, than what we had before. But um, let's do that. And then I think you want to go back in and look at the tuning because I changed that. Yeah. Okay. So it changed. You can see my spring values are now in the 940s. Um, so we changed that a little bit. I don't. I think everything else is pretty good here for now. I really didn't get a sense for the tuning so, or the turning and stuff. So let's go back into test drive. Here again. Hopefully that's it for the build stuff that I'm gonna have to do here. So um, we won't have to go through this loading screen like 20 times to uh, to get this right. Uh, let's see what this feels like here. Right. Just uh, name in my video there. It's recording. All right, here we go. Let's see what this feels like now. Still a little bog. A little sideways there. I wonder where my red line is on this. Let's see if it gives me a little more speed going down this one here. This one might be one of those. Just to get in the top 1,000, I may even have to spend the extra to, to get a transmission that's adjustable because these gears are so. Just, I might actually have to put a little bit of downforce on this thing. I, I kind of like to see what the top speed is. That's going to tell me how doable this actually is. Ooh, trying to keep that back in just wants to go.
just kind of taking it easy up here, not not pushing it too much. Same with this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that had no chance of turning. I'm thinking, you know, maybe top 10,000 is, 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 <laughs> is going to be the challenge on this thing now. Oh, I just drove right through that. Wow. Nimble this is not. Maybe I'm going to make this an oval car. Where I don't have to use things like brakes and I might not have been in the track for this, but hey, that's the challenge. It's random. It's supposed to be hard. Let's see what kind of top speed we get. I can always adjust a little bit more up in there. I could take some more uh I'm gonna have to take a little bit more out of the rear end to, to control that a little bit, probably a little bit on the differential. Decent top speed here for D class. We're in big trouble right now because I got off the track a little. <laughs> this thing is. Um, so now that I'm warmed up, before I get into this next one, let's do this real quick. Um, do a couple little, couple of adjustments here. I'm going to take some more out of the rear end. This thing just to try to keep it planted a little bit. Um, Everything else feels okay. So let's just just do that. Just try to keep things planned a little bit more. It's, it's pulling okay. I can deal with this gearing. Alright. So obviously we're in about the 250 range right now. We gotta shave a couple of seconds off of this thing. Try to be a little more careful on that turn. I, the gearing is just so hard at this. But I hate to spend. It was like 20 PI. Um, we'd have to lose some horsepower. And it, may, it may make it worth it, though. I don't know why my lap is dirty. It doesn't really matter. We're in test drive here. Just to see if we can get something going. Oh, see, look at that. I can't. The shifting is so hard in this thing. Ah, oh, I turned in early. Pull me up the hill. Wow. I need to let this run to way higher RPMs than I am. <laughs> Just a boat to drive. Uh-oh. Stay on the track. Stay on the track. God, that same spot again. Yikes. I think we're going to get in that 237 range with the way this build is. I may have to make some more adjustments to the build here. Hey, you know, eight seconds. I don't remember what I needed to make up. It was about in the 10 second range, so a little over 10 seconds. So, you know, we not, might not be too far off. Oh, no. I <laughs> just about rolled it. <laughs> Oh, I mean, just turning it at, at that speed almost rolled it. That is awesome. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We'll give it one more lap in this test drive just to see if I can get a lap in that'll do it. And then we'll, we'll see if we make a couple more adjustments. Then we're going to head over to Rivals and see what we can do here with this beast. If I don't roll it there, it's not that far off. You know, I'm at 244. I lost a bunch of seconds just on that roll. And the gearing. I just got to make sure I'm real careful about when I shift gears. 
And you need to get all the way to the top of that, that red line. I'm getting pretty good. I mean, it's fast. It's so hard to control when it's this fast. Jeez. Actually, leave it in second this time around here. Definitely better through this section of the track. Just leave it in second again here. You have to apply brakes in places that you normally aren't going to apply brakes in uh, on this track. Like right there. That was off. I hit the wall too. Drift this turn a little bit. Gah. The, the, I might be able to make this fast enough, but driving a clean lap on this track with this car is going to be... Okay, you just, this isn't nimble. It's not like I'm just murdering these turns like that. Alright, back on the straightaway. I think I'm behind the pace I was last time. Um, but I did almost roll it at the end of this thing, so there's some time. Yeah, two seconds. I didn't do very well. That top part of the track just killed me. I hit that top part, I don't know if good is the right word, uh, in the last one, but... Yeah, I didn't roll it. So in between gears all over the place. And then it just... Oh, don't roll it! <laughs> this thing. I can't imagine trying to drive this in multiplayer. He could just for fun, though. The ultimate crasher car, pretty much. God, blew that turn, too. It's just... You gotta break so early. All right, so that's what we got right now. We're not that far off, actually. I think I can get this down into the 237s. Uh, I'm going to pop it here. We'll get off, and we're going to head over into Rivals and uh, see what we can do.